Well, 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 I bet you didn't see this one coming. <laughs> Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. We are taking it back, and I mean all the way back to the very beginning. Arguably, like, the very first set, certainly in the very first wave of Halo Mega Blocks. And this was when it was called Halo Wars. Like, we've taken it all the way back to the beginning with the- Oh no, my Spartans. Don't ruin my intro, guys. Come on. Also, yeah, it's, it's not gonna be that easy to display these on a table. All the way back to the UNSC Warthog item number 96805. Ah, oh, look at that. Does that not just bring back the most raw nostalgia for you? I mean, it certainly does for me. This is probably, I'd say like in the first five sets I owned, my very first set was the Mongo with Elite and Spartan. Then after that, I believe I got a Series 1 blind bag, followed probably by this or the uh, ODST drop pod. It's just so good, man. And yeah, they've got that <laughs> that classic Desert Dune. I don't know why it was in a Desert Dune because that like never happened in Halo, but the Covenant Shade Turret, would you call this a Shade Turret? Just a normal Covenant Turret versus UNSC Warthog. The original Mega Bloks logo, it was called Halo Wars, the Authentic Collector's Series, which kind of seemed weird to me. I, I know that Mega obviously didn't plan for it to just be Halo Wars sets. I'm sure they plan to do everything else and maybe they just wanted to call it Halo Wars because that sort of transpires across all the Halos but they ended up going with Halo Mega Blocks then Halo Mega Constructs now just Halo Mega. Lovely. I just uh, it's it's pure nostalgia man and I have got about 18 sets in front of me. I plan to review them all today. They're from ones I got in recent hauls and I was lucky enough to get them 100% complete. At least most were and some I used my spare pieces to build it back up. The UNSC Scorpion, Aerial Ambush, the Turret, Hornet and Ghost. Oh my goodness. The nostalgia, the Ghost and Banshee look so terrible compared to what they do now. That Hornet turned to dust if you looked at it wrong. Like, it was so badly. Not badly designed, but like, limited by the technology of their time. And certainly that is the case with some of the features of this set, particularly this turret, which if you just press there, yeah, that's gonna fall off. <laughs> that's like immediate pressure and it comes off. This is a really beautiful set, man. And this is gonna be a bit of a rambling review because I'm just so uh, starstruck by nostalgia here. Let's uh, talk about this in in general, then uh, yeah, over the next couple of months, we're gonna run down so many of the old classic sets. I'm really excited about it. These won't be the longest reviews because you know, you guys have seen this before, but these are just a way to dig up that nostalgia and uh, just have a good time, really. We got three figures, the two UNSC Spartans and the Covenant Elite. Now the Covenant Elite, I'll start with this, comes with a purple beam rifle. They hadn't really got any colored weapons yet. They really didn't have much of anything other than Spartans and Elites and Grunts, right? Like everything was just Spartans Elite. Oh, they did have the Flame Marine. That's pretty cool. But I remember it was so crazy that you got a red Spartan in the Scorpion versus all the green ones. <laughs> and now you look at that and you're like, well, we've got like a hundred molds of different Spartans. And then the Elite, yes, just blue in both of those. And that one as well. Yeah, just a blue Elite and it would evolve over time. The blue Elite, it's pretty basic. Uh, it's got not much uh, sort of detailing. Mega blocks figures before New Articulation had really good. I mean, they kind of had to because they were just individual pieces. You couldn't really uh, print details on as finely as you can nowadays. So they would go for this sort of watered down, um, sort of wet brushing effect where the darker colors would seep into the cracks of the armor. And it worked really well for the time. These have a nice sort of light bronze visor and they both come with SMGs. Yes, they are massive back in the day. This elite, uh, the red eyes are cool and there's there's not really much else to say. These are like, I mean, what can you comment on when these are the original Halo Wars figures? This green Spartan came out in so many sets and even the series one blind bags. This elite had a good run too and they, you would we wouldn't even get like any other Spartans until Gosh, I mean, quite far down the line, really. Maybe Series 3 of Blind Bags. Maybe CQB was the first one. But it was a while. We were getting playing figures for a long time. All right, then those three figures aside, we've got the UNSC Warthog, the original, the OG. Um, it, it turns to dust pretty easily, like it does break. But, you know, for the time and for the design, back in the day, they'd only just got started with the line. I think they hit the nail right on the head. We got great printed, uh, printed, <laughs> I gotta stop myself. These are sticker decals. And Yes, the sticker decals obviously aren't as nice on the eyes. They reflect poorly and they do peel over time. But to be fair, 
this is, uh, what, 2009 this came out? So this has been going, and these stickers have been on this set for a long time, and they're still doing great. So I, I gotta hand it to the stickers for this one. The stickers win out. Sometimes uh, stickers are stuck across multiple bricks. That means when you take it apart, you have to take the sticker off. So those ones are not as well applied. And you can see the Warthog is kind of fighting against me. It wants to pop open, and it is quite easy to with these old sets. The plastic, especially under any kind of sunlight, becomes like gently warped. So it'll start pushing and fighting against uh, it being locked into place. See, that's come out now we put the other side in and the other side will come out now we put that side in. But in general, I ain't hating on this Warthog at all. I got so much love. The turret is pretty basic and it used to be attached by two bricks before they added the full uh, extended rod piece. It, it worked for the time and a basic aerial. We used that for a long time during the Halo line. I don't know why that light's there and that light isn't. <laughs> really nice. The green wheels are great. Um, the base for a long time the warthogs would use this single black piece and then you'd build on top of it it wasn't as stable and the suspension kind of uh, the only thing it stopped by is that black piece but again for the time, for the technology available, they did a absolutely amazing job. And I remember holding this in my hand and I was like, damn, I've driven this around Valhalla a hundred times. Like, it's so cool that they've made a vehicle that I've used before. The Spartans always looked a little clunky driving this thing and even worse, trying to hold the steering wheel. Like, yikes, that is not really happening. Still, a, you know, basic set uh, early on in its iterations. Mega definitely improved on that, <laughs> particularly this turret. Like, what is this elite meant to be doing? He can only sit in it. He can't really even touch any kind of controls. It is a bit like, well, <laughs> how does this work? The turret is um, a little, you know, well, I mean, super flimsy, but <laughs> see, even turning it, it, it's super flimsy. The idea that these are just held in by studs is, is not good. The sticker design here is quite nice, and they do have printed detailing on this blue piece, which, you know, decent. And then these additional stickers uh, give it a bit more flair. The seat has some bullet holes in from the chain gun, which is a nice touch, makes it feel like it's part of a big diet. Diorama, and these blue stickers, uh, whoever originally owned this set, very poorly applied them, but they are still really nice. And it swivels around, like, come on guys, come on, just take a look at this set. Are you not just filled with nostalgia? Are you not smiling right now? Like, this is just so good to retread the original footsteps. And I'm gonna be doing a lot more nostalgic reviews like that coming very soon. Let me know in the comments down below, did you get this when it first came out or did you add it to your collection later on? And how does this green warthog square off against all the green warthogs we've got since, including the Halo Infinite warthog? Yeah guys, this was another review with the domain and it just just brings me so much joy to hit the classics. In the next episode, I'm going to be reviewing the original Brute Chopper versus UNSC turret, and I'll see you there. As always, you stay awesome, you stay safe. Shout out to my Patreons, particularly my Arbiter members. You know who you are, and you're making a real difference on this channel. And as always, the domain is signing off.